everybody again. It is Jason with the Magnetic Squatch, and I am out here with Jason from Daddy and Daughter Plus Water. And we are at a new location for us out in Jacksonville, Florida. This is Old Tochburg Creek. It's a new spot for us to hit. We're going to see what we can do. We're going to put the GoPros on and get the magnets in the water and see what we can pull up for you today. I am using, to start off today, my Brute Magnetics 3,600 pound double-sided magnet. It's 1,800 pound pull on each side. This is again my go-to magnet. We're going to get her in the water and see what we can catch out here. So as I'm pulling in my line, I find a hook in my line. All right, first pull up. Did we catch anything? Oh, no, nope, not this time. All right, well, I have latched onto my first find of the day out here. I don't know how well I got it on here. It looks like an old crab basket. Yep, that's what it is, all right. It's an old crab basket. All right, Jason got his first pull-up of the day. Looks like uh, just a piece of pipe or... I don't know. Well, that's weird. It's like, it looks like it was coated. Yeah. With something. All right, well, it's definitely hollow. All right. River cleanup, baby. Yep. I feel like I got something here. Oh yeah, I do. What? It's like a square piece of metal with rope. Oh, you know what? This was probably a crab at one point in time, a crab trap. But what else is on it? It's got this rope attached to it. Nope, not much, just the end of the rope. All right, guys. Cool find. I think it's time for a little bridge sneak attack. All right, I've picked up something here. It's really hard to tell what this is. It's so covered with barnacles and oyster and Looks like it was just a piece of pipe or tubing or something. All right, everyone. We're finishing up at this spot right here. We pulled up a few items, not a whole lot. Unbelievably, this spot is, seems to be pretty barren. Jason went over and checked out the other side of the bridge over there, but apparently there's a big water pipe that runs along the edge down there. And when you're magnet fishing, you don't mess around with those. So, we're going to close it off at this spot, and we're going to go see if we can find us another location. All right, guys, we're back at it. We have found our second location of the day. It's a little uh, retention area coming from this bridge. You got the St. John's River out there on the other side. Feeds into this little lake over here. This area right here just looks too juicy to not produce. But we've thought that before. All right, this location, we're gonna have to be real careful. Cause there used to be a pipe that ran right here. I'm, I don't know what the bottom in here feels like, uh, but here we go. All right, pulling up our first find over here, a lighter. Oh, really old lighter. Really corroded on the top. I doubt this thing's gonna be lighting any of my bonfires at the house. In the bucket it goes. All right, what do we got here? A super old pair of pliers. Holy crap. Wow. All right, found something on that throw. Got one half of a pair of scissors. And these things have been down there a long time too. Got all sorts of stuff growing on them. All right, I'm stuck down here. This bottom is concrete, and I think I've got caught on a piece that's broken. So I've thrown my rope to the other side. 
Now I could take the easy way and walk across here, but it is covered with algae and there ain't no way I'm taking a chance of walking across that and ending up in the emergency room. So I'm going to take a trek around. All right, we're on the other side. I'm going to work our way through the woods here. to this side. Now, then I'm over here. Let's see if I can get myself free from whatever I'm caught on down there. Oh, it won't even give it up this way. There we go, got it. Woo! Thank you. Ew. Yeah, I just realized there's a bunch of nasty duck poop over here. I'm gonna throw this on the ground behind you. Don't go down there. No, <laughs> that would have sucked. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I just caught a knife. Well, hey, I just lost a knife. Hey, look what I found. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't see me uh, any faster getting my knife. <laughs> you never seen a knife be found, lost, and found so fast before. All right, on this pool. I pulled up a the blade for a chef's collection stainless steel knife. Um, it doesn't look like it was too stainless steel to me, however. A really old washer and a little kitchen steak knife. All right, so I'm off putting a new battery in my GoPro and. Jason's down here pulling up cast nets. Take a look at that. That's a nasty one. Yeah, it's been down there a lot. Yeah, it has. Sweet fine. Got to get those Do cast you know nets up out of the water. So Jason pulls up the cast net, throws it out there again, and now he's stuck. So something uh, the two of us are quickly becoming is experts in the come along okay jason's got his come along set up over there and he is trying to wrench out whatever it is that he's caught on down there and the line's moving as he's tugging on it oh and there's bubbles all right did it break loose all right oh and you caught the bag all right that right there ladies and gentlemen is why if you're going to be magnet fishing you need to use or at least have a come along in your arsenal. And he snagged himself another cast net. Aye, that's another one that's been down there a long time and there is fishing line all over it. Good catch, brother man. Oh, hey, hey. Is that a golf club? That's a golf club head. I felt it click right there too. Oh, let's see. What is it? It is covered with barnacles. That's what it is. Well, it's a one wood. Tailor made? That's a tailor made. Well, it was a tailor made. All right. Well, we finished over here at the second spot. This area was all right. But we're going to move on to one more location for the day. See you there. All right, we have made it out to our next spot. We are under a bridge. We were going to fish from the top of the bridge, but on both sides, you got this pipe that goes across here. Um, but with this location, there is the capability of walking under the bridge to get to the other side. So uh, we're going to toss out here and see what we can get. Jason on his first toss out. I didn't bring my bucket. Right. Two pieces Jesus of rebar. Anyway. All right. All right. What is that? What is that? Yeah, no kidding. That's a wild find. Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. At first, when I saw this, I, I was thinking a uh, a light. <laughs> yeah. Like the screwing part of the light. I don't know what in the world that could be. All right. 
I know what it is for sure. Out of the water. All right, following in Jason's shoes out here. I got rebar. Rebarred it. All right, I double sided this one. I got a hooked piece of rebar on one side. And a straight piece on the other side. Jason just snagged some more. Jason got a little pile of rebar going on over here. More rebar. Oh, there's something like massive big right here. Yeah. Oh my. Okay. What do you think about that? Whoo! Big old lag bolt with two square flanges on both sides. The nuts on it and everything. And more rebar. Oh, hey. You know what this is called, right? It's called scrap weight. So Jason's just walking along over here and finds this. Don't really know what that is, but that is a pretty interesting find. All right, that's something to look in to see what that is. But that does look like that would go into a computer. Yeah. Huh. All right, you never know what you're gonna find out here. Jason down here pulled up an adjustable wrench. All right, rock on. I think this place is gonna definitely supply us with a lot of metal. All right, I've been working on getting this loose. It's pretty heavy. And now I'm stuck on it down here in the root system. I drag it all the way from the middle, all the way out here. And now I'm gonna get stuck, get it stuck up under all these roots. Oh, that sucks. Oh, wow. Okay. It's another one of those massive lag bolt oh, yeah. flange combinations. Oh. Woo. That was a fun one to pull up. Check out what Jason just pulled up. A razor scooter. A razor scooter. Heck yeah. You know what? All the time doing this, that's the first one of those I've seen pulled up. Way to go. Nice find. And pulled up another one of these large lag bolts. More lag bolt. All right, I've moved over here to under the bridge area give a few casts under here and see if maybe there's some goodies all right i move under the bridge and guess what i catch if you guess more of the same you're the winner big old lag bolt got more of the same all right guys here is the last toss in for the day all right guys last pull and i'm going to give you one wild guess what i caught that's right rebar for the win all right, let me give you a quick rundown of everything that we pulled up today. We started out at that first location today and it just, it was a bust. Didn't really accomplish too much out there other than what appears to be a couple crab pots that I'd snagged up out of there. Got to the second location and actually started to pull some stuff up. We got the lighter, got that half of the scissors. These knives right here that claim to be stainless steel, but I'm sorry. 
That doesn't look like what happens to a stainless steel knife. That set of pliers right there and the golf club head. At this location, Jason, I think, pulled up the best find of the day with this Razor scooter right here. That was pretty sweet. Found what appears to be a slingshot, that adjustable wrench, and this USB looking thing. Then of course, we pulled up a ton of rebar here at this location. A bunch of it. Once again, go check out Jason's channel, Daddy and Daughter Plus Water. Don't just watch the magna fishing stuff, although those are great videos. They do some pretty cool diving stuff where they go snorkeling and find some pretty interesting items as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, hit that beautiful notification bell, and please leave us some comments down in the comment section. We both like getting comments and responding to them. Once again, thank you for joining. Stay squatchy, y'all.